President Biden is reportedly shifting his midterm strategy and expected to go on the attack against Republicans. Sources tell CNN that the mantra inside the White House is, quote, don't compare me to the almighty, compare me to the alternative. But that could be a tough sell. The latest CNN poll of polls shows 54 percent of Americans disapprove of the president's job performance, and he is losing the support of black voters. CNN political commentator Van Jones joins me now. Van, great to have you here. So the idea of going after Republicans, I guess, to remind Americans who have short term memory loss of what they felt under President Trump. Is that the strategy here? Well, I think I think what he wants to point out is that if you replace the Democrats with Republicans, what are you going to probably get? You're going to get probably Biden impeached, a bunch of Hunter Biden stuff. I mean, it, it, it does it does bear pointing out that the main Republican agenda right now just seems to be attacking Biden um, and not helping on the economy. So I think that's you know reasonable to do. But is it going to work? I think that's the question. And I think that um, you've got a bunch of Democratic voters that already know the Republicans are not their favorite choice, but they are disappointed right now with where the Biden administration is. And you got to fix that. Well, I want to ask you about that, because yeah. there are things, accomplishments that President Biden could lean into. Here are just a few. Mm -hmm. The one point nine trillion dollar covid relief deal, uh, which obviously helped so many states. Sure. The one point two trillion dollar bipartisan infrastructure package that was hard to get passed, but they did it. It creates jobs. It, unemployment now at three point six percent down from six point two when he took office. Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson confirmed to the Supreme Court. So, I mean, voters have forgotten that stuff. Like, why not lean into that stuff? Yeah, look, I, I I think elections are about contrast. I think you've got to say what the other people would do that's bad and what you've done that's good. Um, I think we're, what, what you're going to have to deal with at this point is that there was some over-promising and under-delivering, especially last summer. You know, build back better. You're going to have all this stuff. You're going to get voting rights. You're going to get uh, uh, police reform. And then people are saying, where's the beef on the last round of promises? The first round he delivered on, but then he made a bunch of other promises and didn't. <laughs> this is kind of like, oops. <laughs> is that what's happening with black voter support? So if yeah. you if we look at the numbers here, uh, the his approval rating is started at 87 percent. Now it's dropped 20 percent to 67 percent. How do you explain that? It's a couple things. One is um, I do think that black voters felt we did the most uh, and got the least. That when you look at the Senate, when you look at Georgia, when you look at black women out there doing the most to make sure that Biden won. And then we haven't gotten enough on voting rights, haven't got enough on police reform, haven't got enough on the things that are important to us. That's tough. And so and then at the same time, you've got Republicans who've been really, especially online, trying to pull black voters over by doing something interesting, saying, look, we may not be your cup of tea on some of these issues, but hey, uh, on the economy, were you better off three or four years ago? You're better off now. The algorithms are starting to serve up to black voters some very depressing, distressing news. I don't think Democrats have responded online the way they need to. But it is working. It's that beginning is to work. They, they are, are bleeding uh, yeah. or siphoning, I guess, yeah. black voters.